What up guys, welcome to another Fluta app video tutorial. I'm going to show you how to add the fancy liquid pool to refresh in your Fluta app. This is the package that we are going to use, the liquid pool to refresh. Um, I'm going to scroll down a little bit so that you can take a look at this package yourself. Um, but I'm going to show you how to add this to your app real quick. The, the reason why we want to add the pool to refresh in our Flutter app is for us to be able to reload our data on our app. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to add this in your um, Flutter app. All right, so I'm going to open a new tab. Then here, I'm going to type pop.dev on the address bar. Okay, so in the search packages, I'm going to type liquid pool to refresh. I'm going to click on it. Then I'm going to press enter key on my keyboard. Okay. So this is the package liquid pool to refresh. I'm going to click on it. All right. So now I'm going to click on installing. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and then I'm going to copy this package right here. So this is the latest version as of today. I'm going to copy it and then we are going to use um, Android Studio. Yeah, in Android Studio, I'm going to click on popspec.yaml file. I'm going to open it and then right inside my dependencies, I'm going to paste the package that I just copied. Okay, so you can click on popget or you can, you know, go to your terminal and then right inside your terminal, you just type flutter pop. Okay. Okay. Just press enter key on your keyboard. So yeah, we are going to, you know, download all the dependencies. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go back to my web browser and then I'm going to scroll down a little bit and then we would need this package. Okay. We would need to import this dot code. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to go back to my Android studio. Then I'm going to click and open my main.dat file. Then right at the top, I'm going to click here. Then I'm going to paste it right there. Okay. All right. So now this is the app that we are going to add the liquid pool to refresh, that fancy um, pool to refresh that I just showed you. All right. So just right above the um, build contest widget, we are going to add a method okay so i'm just going to click right here and then i'm going to say future then i'm going to create this class that's the handle refresh okay so it's going to be async all right, so the reason why we are adding the pool to refresh is for us to be able to reload the recent content in our Flutter app. So that's going to take, let's say, about um, two seconds um, for the app to refresh. Okay, so I'm going to add a comment. Reloading takes some time. Okay, so let's say, let's say two seconds. So uh, we are going to wait for two seconds. So I'm going to say return and then await feature dot delay. Then we are going to set the um, duration to let's say two seconds. Okay. All right. So we have that little um, squivel line over it. So I'm going to add the cost just there, somewhere there. All right, so we're going to save this work. So what I'm going to do right now is that uh, I'm going to scroll down to where I have my body property somewhere down here. Okay, so now on the body property, you might have something else. All right, but you would need to wrap it with the list widget. Okay, so this list widget is going to help you to be able to um, scroll your page. All right, so the list widget is more like a, a scrollable list. All right, 
But that is not all. I still need to wrap this list widget with my liquid pool to refresh. Okay, so I'm going to double tap on it. Okay, so that I'll have this um, light over here. Then I'm going to click on wrap with widgets. Okay, good. So now I'm going to start typing liquid pool to refresh. All right, so if I hover over it, you, you are going to see this red scribble line. Okay, um, it shows add require argument that's on refresh. Okay, so we would need to add that real quick. So we have created that method, which is the handle refresh. Okay. Okay, so now we are going to um, set the color. I'm going to say color and then colors dot deep purple you can use any other color based on your um app team okay so now what i'm going to do right now is that i'm going to set the background color the background color is going to be colors dot deep purple but this time around i'm going to use 200 okay so now um i'm going to set the speed factor okay i'm going to set the um speed factor let's say uh let's say two seconds okay so now let's pull to refresh our app there we go okay so but you notice that the um children was not displaying okay so it's because um the reason why the children are not displaying is because the child opacity transition is already set to um true on default so we are going to change the um, show child opacity transition to false okay so that when we pull to refresh um the you know children that's what we have here um on the screen will still be there while the app is refreshing Okay, so now we are going to test our liquid pool to refresh. There we go. Okay, so guys, this is how to add the fancy liquid pool to refresh in your Flutter app.